The fallout from a second coronavirus wave and its impact on the European Central Bank's 1.35 trillion euro bond buying scheme are set to dominate today's ECB and its Watchers Conference. This as the Eurozone also faces a strengthening currency and declining prices, with ECB President Christine Lagarde warning deflationary pressures are set to remain for coming months. Uh, let's uh, bring on to the programme uh, Volker Wielen, the uh, Endowed Chair of Monetary Economics at the Institute for Monetary and Financial Stability. He's also a member of the German Council of Economic Experts. And, of course, Annette uh, will be with us for the conversation. Volker, welcome back to the programme. Good to have you with us. Look, let, let, let's just um, deal with the um, target that the ECB is focused on here. We had another reminder as German core inflation softened in September that deflation remains much more of a risk here for the ECB's position than inflation. Should this embolden Christine Lagarde and the Governing Council to be even more aggressive or imaginative with monetary policy? Well, Jeff, good morning. It's great to be on the show. Uh, regarding inflation, the ECB has already done a lot. I mean, they've really a major program going and if you look at the, at the inflation measures, a little known secret is actually that the overall measure of inflation, that's the GDP deflator, has been going up to 2.4% last quarter, while the core inflation index for consumer prices has been going down. But it's mostly going down because imports are getting a lot cheaper. So it's not quite uh, as high a deflation risk uh, as it looks. Yeah, that's that's interesting. But the perception then, which, um, as my friends in the marketing world tell me, is reality, is that whatever the ECB has done uh, through the recent uh, phase of weakening inflationary trends has, has done little to move the needle on the market's perception what, of, what, of what inflation will look like over the medium term. What then do we need to see happen here in the messaging to get your point across? Because I don't think the market believes that there is any significant risk of inflation at this stage. Well, I'm just saying the risks of deflation are not that high if you look at broader measures of inflation. And in some sense, it's the ECB's own communication which is at fault because whenever they talk about inflation, they only talk about consumer prices. It's okay to have a target for one measure, but a broader look, I think, would help to, to have markets look at that. And by the way, even market commentary also looks at the uh, dramatic increase in money growth, in broad money growth, not just the central bank balance sheet. And, and my reading is, if you see some of the market commentary, it also looks at that component, and that gives a little bit of a pause that maybe the deflation risks are not that big. 